Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you an iPod Touch first generation 8GB that can boot Android um, as well as the standard Apple OS console mode so it's a three way um, multi OS iDevice Alright, select that, and here we go. It took a little bit of tweaking to get it to work on the iPod Touch. Um, as you know, it's only really fully released for the um, iPod 2G, and now more recently, the iPod 3G. Um, hopefully soon the 3GS will become available. I'm really looking forward to that. It's a, it's a fairly slow boot up process because the iPod Touch first generation was not the fastest device. Alright, so it's finished I open iBoot. Now we're into Linux, um, iPhone Linux. Alright, and now we're in Android. I'm sure you can read this. Sorry about the crappy quality, but um, I'm recording from my iPhone. Um, if you can't read that, it says Android right there. All right, here we go. And it shows the little Android splash screen. Awesome. And since this is an iPod Touch, we're not going to be able to make phone calls or anything like that. Um, and we're also lacking a few buttons, so let's see what we can do. You can use everything you can normally use. Oh, Wi-Fi does work. Um, yeah. So, it's a little glitchy still because it's not supposed to work on the iPod Touch yet. Waiting for that release, and that'll be really sweet. Um, this entire hack is is thanks to Planet Bing who um, really really put a ton of effort into this and released the first version for the iPod Touch second generation so uh, thanks to you um, and yeah hope you enjoy and this just shows that it's possible to actually do this on an iPod Touch first generation thanks for watching